Compti is an open source uh, software package for finding the minimal uh, counterfactual explanations for supervised machine learning classification on any kind of data. Uh, an explanation here is the data that with high probability supports the machine learning decision. Compti aims to explain why a machine learning model came up with a particular decision or a prediction. So we are particularly looking at time series data, which is the data behind the scenes in many systems where we do analysis. This could be understanding what a person's gesture means, data coming from sensors. It could be data coming from computer systems where we look at the computer systems data and understand maybe what's wrong, what's causing a slowdown. It might be coming from a nuclear reactor to tell us when the system might be unhealthy or having a problem. So many machine learning methods are used to understand this kind of data, but machine learning methods are generally black box. So they tell you what they predict or what they classify, but they don't tell you why. Our method aims to address this problem and comes up with an explanation on why a certain decision was made. It will work with time series data, actually any kind of data, but uh, multivariate time series data in particular, and that it, it's minimal. It will just return the key pieces of information that would high probability uh, generated the machine learning decision. Comte is unique because it gives you very concise information that provides a lot of insight for the problem you are looking at. This is in contrast to providing a large set of data which requires a lot of expertise to sort out, like many other techniques in this domain do. Uh, it's a game changer because even though machine learning is pervasive in science and engineering these days, for it to be used in critical applications, uh, we need to get past the, um, the black box nature of machine learning where it just gives you an answer and that's it. Uh, we need to understand how it got the answer and, and that it's the correct answer uh, before we can use it in critical applications. And, and actually most applications uh, are probably critical to somebody, even if it's not critical to everybody. Um, so, so Compti will provide the explanations necessary to support the use of machine learning in critical applications. Compti is going to benefit not only the engineers and data scientists who are building the machine learning frameworks, they are deploying them, but also the users and practitioners who are working with these machine learning frameworks in the field because Compti is going to provide explanations on why machine learning framework made a certain decision, and this will help design better systems, debug problems, and overall solve complex problems with trust in the machine learning method. So I'd like to give an example from our uh, high-performance computing anomaly detection, where uh, a sample starts with 2,000 time series. Um, we distill that down to 200, um, be because a lot of time series didn't move. We distilled it down to 200 that actually moved. And the sample was correctly uh, classified as a memory leak. And Compti explained that with uh, two time series, uh, normal page allocation and huge page allocation. One actually, the normal page will explain it. The huge page points to a bias in our data uh, away from memory fragmentation, which is a normal state on the machine. Our greatest hope with Compti is to expand adoption of machine learning in a variety of fields to bring societal benefits. Real-world applications include uh, any systems assessing system health. This could be assessing computer system health, it could be assessing the health of a nuclear reactor, it could be looking into um, traffic analysis, getting time series data, it could be looking into sensory data, such as uh, sensors collected from humans to understand different gestures, and a number of different applications exist. We wanted to build trust in the user community, so hence we were looking for explanations of, of our anomaly detection. Uh, we couldn't find anything, so we, we ended up developing our own, and hopefully it will lead to success actually uh, uh, across the use of machine learning here at Sandia and, and actually worldwide.